good morning guys it's very early on a saturday morning oh my god guys i have to pause this i'm editing this video i have bronzer down the front of my nose <laughs> What? I have a line of cream bronzer down my nose that, that I didn't blend in and I had no idea. Was I like this the entire day? This is hilarious. Mortified. Mortified. But I wanted to start the vlog because I'm doing something a little bit different this morning that I know you guys would love to see. Although I may regret sharing this. <laughs> Could be very embarrassing, I'm not sure. So back in 2020, I actually messaged a girl on Instagram. I'd seen that Amelia had been doing these kind of dance exercise lessons. Don't really know how to describe it actually, but it's it looks like it's kind of fitness based. It looks like you're gonna really get a good workout, but disguised as dancing, which sounds up my street because I used to love dancing when I was younger. And you guys know I hate working out, so if it's fun and disguised as something else, you know, I'm forever on the hunt for something that I enjoy. So I messaged her back in 2020 and it just never happened kids, lockdown, all these things got in the way. And then I thought I'd message her this in January to see if we can just like give it a go, try something. Her name is Camille Sharp. I'll put her details in the description box. I think she's actually opening her own studio soon, but today we're just renting a little studio just off Oxford Street. And I'm nervous. Am I gonna be fit enough to jump around for an hour? Am I gonna wet myself? Um, I gonna enjoy it. I don't know how am I gonna feel. <laughs> so many unknowns. It's like it's not a class, it's just one to one. So I can't hide. I have to do it all. Like normally if I do a Pilates class, I'll like stay at the back and not really do the whole thing properly. I'm gonna bring you along so you can see if I'm terrible, if I'm good, I have no idea how I'm gonna be. It's so weird being in town this early, it's so empty. So nice. Okay, this is where we're heading. Dance works. Okay, I'm here a bit early, but look at this already. This really excites me. It's like a proper dance studio. I'm not joking, when I was a teenager, it was like my dream to be somewhere like this. Also, I love that there's a mirror. <gasps> I feel like I'm gonna like this. Okay, Camille's here. We're gonna start. She said it's like a full body workout, cardio, dancing. It's the equivalent of like, she said a really long bike ride. I can't remember how long she said. I'm nervous. <laughs> It's giving you a hot radar. Hopefully you enjoy it. Don't be shy. I can get the tips sometimes, but... Oh my goodness, I'm so sweaty, which is a great sign. That means it actually was a proper workout because I was worried it would just be like dancing and there wouldn't be like a point for me to do it other than just enjoyment, but that was a proper workout. I'm exhausted. At the end, it got much more like fitnessy, aerobicsy. It really reminded me of like my mum's aerobics classes she used to do when I was sick of school. I used to go and watch her do them. It was really fun. 
She said I was good, so I'm happy with that. I'm home, that was the quickest shower turnaround ever because we are now heading to Primrose Hill. Rich has an appointment, I think we're gonna meet my parents, maybe walk around the food market, let the kids play in the playground or something. Not really sure, we go to Primrose Hill a lot on the weekend, it's just like a nice place to hang out. So that's the plan, hoping the food market is open because I am getting really hungry now. Mum, what else should I do? Um, um, in the forest? Yeah, 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 yeah. Lovely. What have you got, treats? Um, I don't, um, it's what about a monkey? <laughs> Vlogging on my own with kids is pretty much an impossible task. There's just too many and they go in opposite directions. There's a new bagel place in Primrose Hill that's obviously gone like viral on TikTok and it's so funny because there's a huge queue and so many people and there's not even normally that many people here on a weekend. Are you okay? Up to Daisy. Hold my hand. Good boy. Go, go, play. We're gonna go get Gray. Let's go to the playground. Go! Oh my god. Well, she's go! Come on. Rich has been on a 10k run and Rudy's just spotted him. Oh my gosh, that was too cute. Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Has he done a poo? <laughs> Just in time, good timing. Okay, the job on the way home is to send one, two, three, four, five vintage parcels. I've got such a busy day today. It's 7 a.m. at the moment. Today is my day to take both kids in. Rich is in the office, so I drop Rudy at nursery, Grey at school, but they're literally in opposite directions and then I'll jump straight on the tube to head into town. Oh, I'm still obsessed with this Vive primer, it's so good. I've got my strategy meeting with my um, management at YMU. We do this once a year and it's a time for us to kind of look back on the previous year and then look ahead on the, the coming year. We talk through Sorry, if you can hear chaos downstairs, it's just life. Rich is trying to get the kids dressed and it's the hardest thing we could possibly do. We look back on like which ads performed well. Uh, we look back on which organic content performed well. Uh, we look back at which brands I enjoyed working with and which ones I didn't enjoy working with and try to come up with a bit of a kind of vague plan. A lot of, a lot of stuff we can't plan for, but any any brands that I'd love to work with and new kind of content formats that I've got ideas for. And it's just like a nice time to all get together and chat really, and I love it. As someone who like works by myself, I really thrive off that kind of environment where everyone's together in one room having a little brainstorm. And if it was up to me, I'd literally do one every month because I really enjoy it. It gives me just like a little bit of focus, you know? Georgia's um, popping along to the meeting for a bit because she just knows my content really well and we brainstorm a lot together. So I thought whilst I've got her and whilst we're in town, we might as well um, go and film something out and about because I've really been enjoying um, filming reels out and about. Now that I've got this little mic, it just allows me to do so much more because before I'd have to like stand so close to the phone and there'd be loads of background noise and just having this Bluetooth mic has given me so much flexibility and I'm really enjoying filming out and about content. So I hope you guys have been enjoying that. I've done a few kind of foodie ones and then today I'm doing a fashion related one. I was having a little think last night about what I could do and I've never bought designer jeans before. Um, I used to swear by the 40 pound Topshop jeans and then I kind of moved on to Arquette and other stories and I've, I've never bought designer jeans. I have tried on Levi's, that's probably as designer as I've gone, I've never bought any though and in my head when you try on designer jeans you put them on and it's like ah and they fit perfectly and they feel great and it's like all wonderful you know most of these jeans I'm talking about they're like 250 pounds and loads of people buy those kind of jeans I'm really surprised but I see so many people with like citizens of humanity goldie is that what it's called um frame so I thought it'd be interesting to try on some designer jeans and like see how they feel and whether they actually feel different in quality and fit and stuff and then we thought it would be a good idea instead of just trying on designer jeans to kind of do almost a bit of a comparison where I try on a, a high street jean maybe from like mango or 
M&S, a kind of mid-range jean like Amber the Stories or Arquette, which are like kind of 60, 70 pounds, and then the, the designer one. And I think that would just be a really interesting reel. I think a lot of people really struggle with jeans and I wanna know whether they kind of actually feel or look different. I know a lot of a lot of it is actually just in the detail of like the stitching and stuff, but and like how they last, how they wash, I guess. Yeah, that's the plan, filming that. And then I've got to come, I've got to jump back on the tube and come home because Grey has a little um, school singing performance this afternoon. I mean, when I asked her about it, she knew nothing about it. So that is a sign of a great show. <laughs> I have no idea, but I will always try and attend school things like that. I work for myself, so definitely can like move things around. And yeah, I always want to be able to go to that if I can. Then I'll bring Grey home. Then I'll make her dinner. Then I will go to pick up Rudy from nursery. Then my mum is coming over to wait with the kids for an hour before Rich gets back from the office at like half six because I'm gonna jump back on the tube to go into town to meet Debs. I was kindly offered a couple of tickets to The Lion King at the Lyceum Theatre, which I have seen, I think more than once, but not for a really, really long time, like since I was younger. And I just knew that Debs would love to go. And so I thought that'd be really nice. We'll try and grab a bit of food first if we can, but then yeah, we're gonna go see The Lion King together. So a lot of back and forth on the tube. It's gonna be a busy day, but I'm also really looking forward to it. I'm just getting ready. It's so early and dark outside. God knows what my makeup will look like when the sun actually comes out. I'm just doing my usual. I don't even really think about it. Pretty much the same makeup every day. I'll just like change up the base. This is the Vive Camel eyeshadow. So good. Just need to think about what I'm taking with me today. Really hoping Rudy goes in the buggy because normally he'll scoot to nursery, but it's just too hard when you have both of them on scooters and got my laptop and all my bags with me and we need to be super quick so Gray's not late for school. Laptop, charger, camera, tripod, phone charger. Oh my god it's 20 past seven. I need to go downstairs so Rich can come up and get ready so that he can leave by eight. This bag has no zip fastening so I've had to put all my stuff in these individual Elizabeth Scarlet bags because it's just like wouldn't be safe to walk around London with just an open bag full of stuff. I don't think anyone's going to want to steal my umbrella. So good, I left so early. I dropped the kids as fast as I could. As soon as Grey went in school, I jumped in the tube and I was like, yes, definitely gonna get there on time. And then I was so deep in writing notes on my phone for an idea I have for a, a reel. I like got so into it, I missed my stop, which is very unlike me. So I've now got three minutes to get there. I think I'll be on time, but I like to be early. So we'll start with Reflections 2023. Obviously I wasn't here, so <laughs> this was a little bit weird. Yeah, there's some great things on here that I think you should be really proud of. Um, you partnered with a dream brand. I think that partnership was just like a match made in heaven. Mm -hmm. I felt so authentic. And it was one of my top performing ads of the year. Yeah, me. And there's some really nice brands within that as well. Mm -hmm. We'd love to see us diversify this chart a little bit more. I think especially within the food and home space. I yeah. feel like a lot of these brands like, oh, they're so awesome. They like want to work with people who have like perfect looking hair. They think like, well, let's work with people whose hair looks amazing. But like, that's not real life. Like people relate to someone who's got like, things that they want to, you know, yeah. damn it, then they use that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. we're working with them. It's a problem. Yeah. 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 I, I, I mean, I feel like I've got loads of different formats. In sure. terms of like new <laughs> brands to prioritise, obviously feel free to go <laughs> away, digest, <laughs> chat with the team, and then we'll get more <laughs> meetings set up if we've not already got set meetings set up. We've got quite a few. Is my M&S yeah. dream dead? Mm. I know, it's annoying. I keep forgetting to vlog because we are just rushing around. I'm so tired for time to get back for Grey's singing show. And we've been trying to film content. My mic ran out of battery. I had to charge it. It's all a little bit stressful. Uh, also, we just quickly had lunch with yeah, Leon. Shit, and there was a pigeon in there. That was pretty stressful too. Yeah, My makeup has actually disappeared. This is what happens when I get ready early in the morning. I got ready in pitch black and it was ages ago and now I look like I'm not wearing any makeup. Filming a tube reel and we've literally just gone up and down these escalators five times. We look absolutely <laughs> But, you know, for the content. Okay, quick tube edit. Okay, kids sorted. Show was very cute. Didn't see her. She sat at the back. Couldn't see a thing. But it was great. Oh my god, Jamie's on the screen. 
Jamie Genevieve outside Space and K. That's pretty cool. I'm in town and I'm heading to meet Debs because we're going to go see the Lion King together and we're going to meet first at the food market to grab some food because we're going to get hungry. Okay, we're in the Seven Dials market and Debs saw that there's a new stand here. It's called Rice On and it's Korean right up my street. So we're both getting fried chicken. Korean fried chicken and rice, and we're sharing some spring onion pancakes. But it's, um, it's not urgent, so don't worry. It's not urgent. Yeah, I'm gonna try one of these spring onion pancake things. What? Oh, what did you do? Okay. Yeah, that's where he's been here. This is like, like a beauty. A this is like a beauty hub. <laughs> oh, you're always around Covent Garden. Yeah, really? Really? You just said you work out in Hoban. Then you just go there. Um, right, we're gonna head to the Lion King. I'm gonna walk it so long. Just saying, how long do you reckon the Lion King's been going for? Uh, my guess is about 25 years. I guess it was the same. Oh, because we worked out that you last went you when you were 11. How do you I remember? I was 11. I think I went when I was... I remember. Was I with you? No, just me and my mum. Oh. No, I remember crying when the elephants came out. Sorry, spoilers, but... <laughs> Not when Rufasa. No, the elephants at the beginning, they come oh, out. They so come, and really it, all, it all like, comes down the aisle. Yeah. I honestly cannot wait to take Grey. I'm going to take her next year. I think you have to be six. Um, she's going to love it. She loves the Lion King. I'm very excited. Best song? Um, gonna be a mighty king. Enemies beware. Yeah. Or Hakuna? Yeah, Hakuna. Hakuna. And, um, I don't know, I panicked. Can't think of any other songs. Ah! Uh, Oh, that one's really like emotional because you're like. Oh. That's when the elephants come out. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, that? It's that way, that way, it's that way, isn't it? It's at the Lyceum Theatre. It's honestly been there forever. It's like. Oh, I don't oh. even know where we are. Here. Yes, you do. No, I like. I know where we are, but I don't know where we are. You know. It's just off the piazza. That dinner was delicious, by the way. Sorry, Anyone for a? Fairy tuk tuk? I've been on one of them. <laughs> Why? I don't know, some American guy I went on a date with. <laughs> what? Like, let's go in. Okay, wait, you have to tell me about this hen. Here it is. It's like the most amazing theatre. Oh, I'm literally in the road. <laughs> I'm just walking in the road, but look how cool it is from the outside. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to vlog before anything happens. But look how exciting. Oh, I do love a theatre. Okay, these are my current glasses from Ace and Tate. I have them in this and I have them in the clear. I want some like more statement ones. I'm going to try on. Oh, oh you look like Bobby Brown. But like, you? Oh, the makeup oh. person. Yeah, let me try it. Please. <laughs> I don't think she watches my vlogs. Well, they're wider they're really than my face. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, the problem is I can't see. No, no I don't see. Really they're too small. Like, they're too yeah, but square. You can them Honestly, I just went into sunglasses part. I tried on a million sunglasses. My face does not suit anything. I can't see. But they're big. They come in different sizes. They're really cool on you. Let me see. Oh, they really suit you. I don't know. Yeah, they do. The mine is just a bit boring. I want something cooler. I think they're nice. Go to Cubits over there. Cubits. Cubits. Or oh, well, that new boom, bloom and bloom that we just walked past. Yeah, but you know, Cubits are really nice. Really? Yeah. King's Cross. It's a bit of a Okay. It was so good. What was you half like when it came on? You're like, this is my favorite song. Um, I know, but I can't. I sing. can see what's yeah. happening. Ooh. They don't have a clue. Ooh. <laughs> um, the Elton John one. I can John. see what's happening. What? Oh yeah. Who? They're falling in love, and here's the boy. Okay. Anyway, so good. So if you good. haven't seen it, which I feel like so many people have, because it has been on for 25 years, we were right. It's the best because the costumes are so. Costumes are amazing. It's like people in animal costumes, and they're like moving, and you forget there's people in it, and it's yeah. all really colourful, and, and it's the dancing. best. And like you forget. Oh, you just said that. But you forget the people in it. I just said I think it's actually too scary for Grey because it really feels like there's hyenas on the stage. Um, so so good. You're going that way. I'm going that way. No, sorry. I'll see you Sunday. Oh yeah. Are you gonna vlog Sunday? Mm, no, no, I might do a little. I might do an Instagram. Okay. I'll tell you what we're doing on Sunday another time. Bye.